Your heartbeat may be your new passcode. Always forgetting your passwords. Well, scientists have come up with a great solution for that, using your heart. Say what? Researchers at the University of Buffalo have developed a new biometric tool that scans your heart to unlock your phone or log onto your computer. The system uses a low-level Doppler radar to identify the shape and size of a person's heart. The system needs 8 seconds to record the shape and person's heartbeat. It then continuously monitors the person's presence. The heart scanner continuously monitors individuals up to a distance of 98 feet. Researchers claim the system poses no health risks as the radar system uses very little power. It is a passive non-contact device, so people don't have to spend time authenticating themselves. They just have to give their biometric heart data to the office and their phone companies. Yeah, that'll totally happen. Researchers really knocked it out of the park on this one. For the nerds out there. Wireless sensor can activate police cameras automatically. A new product designed for law enforcement officers can trigger their body cameras to start recording automatically. The signal sidearm is a wireless sensor attached to an existing police firearm holster. It can also be integrated into dash cameras, body cams, and other wearable cameras such as head cams. When a gun is drawn from a holster, the sidearm triggers all cameras within 30 feet to begin recording automatically. This allows footage of the same event to be recorded from different perspectives. The product will be available in the third quarter of 2017. Breakthrough Nanochip heals injuries with just one touch. Researchers at Ohio State University have developed a new technology that allows the body to generate any type of cell to help heal injuries. Tissue nanotransfection involves placing a fingernail-sized nanochip on a patient's skin, adding a droplet of genetic material, and zapping it with an electrical current. The DNA is delivered through channels created by the current, and it reprograms skin cells to turn into specific cell types that can then be used in other parts of the body. When tested on a mouse with a damaged leg, researchers found vascular cells converted from skin cells formed new blood vessels that allowed the leg to heal in two weeks. The non-invasive technology was also able to generate nerve cells in the legs of brain-damaged mice. Once the cells were harvested, they were injected into the brain to help with stroke recovery. The nanochip also tested effectively in pigs and is expected to be approved for human trials within a year. Researchers discover how to transmit passwords through your body. University of Washington scientists have developed a way to send password credentials using the human body in place of wireless air transmission. Researchers are developing fingerprint technology to transmit data through the human body. They say this could be used to perform security checks such as authentication for door locks. The technique uses trackpads and smartphone fingerprint sensors to send low frequency electromagnetic transmissions through the body instead of through the air. The researchers know that these on-body transmissions could also be used to send password information to wearable technology. Talk about hacking the human body, eh? Technology puts autonomous vehicles in the driving seat. A future in which self-driving vehicles travel our roads is edging closer as automakers introduce an ever-increasing range of innovations to their cars. One example of smart car technology is Ford's blind spot warning system. Radar sensors in the tail light detect other vehicles in the driver's blind spot and trigger a warning light in the side mirrors when it's unsafe to change lanes. Those radar sensors also detect oncoming vehicles when the vehicle is backing out of a parking spot. Other parking assistants already on the market include a feature in several Ford models that tells the driver when to hit the accelerator or brake. Meanwhile, some BMW drivers can already park their cars by pushing a button on a key fob. Today's cars use radar, sonar, cameras, or a combination of all three for active cruise control. This feature allows the car to drive autonomously at a fixed speed or at the speed of the vehicle in front, slowing down and speeding up automatically. However, the vehicle will emit a warning if the driver needs to take evasive action. The technology preps the brakes and will even brake automatically if the driver doesn't react in time. 
Some Mercedes cars can tell the difference between a four-legged and a two-legged obstacle and will brake harder for people. Cameras in today's cars can be used to detect lane markings and warn drivers to stay in their lane. This is designed to help tired drivers, but in practice often applies to those who are texting on their cell phones. If lane warnings aren't heated, this technology can steer the car back into the correct lane by hitting the brakes or turning the steering wheel. Tesla's electric cars are already capable of driving on autopilot and changing lanes without the driver's input. In the near future, we should expect to see traffic jam autopilot, which will allow drivers to take their hands off the wheel in heavy traffic and let the car do the work. Looking further ahead, automakers are working on autonomous valet parking, which will see cars drop passengers off, find their own parking space, then pick the passengers up when summoned by smartphone. However, we are still quite some time away from when every vehicle on the road is an autonomous one. But thanks to advances made by automakers, that day hopefully isn't too far away.